Question is asked, your thoughts on Chris Evans returning as Captain America? Well, the basically last week, a report came out that was a credible report that Chris Evans is in talks to return to the MCU in some capacity. So you're telling me there's a chance. So what's my initial take on that? If they are negotiating with him to have Chris Evans be in... Doctor Strange 2 and some alternate reality. There's some fun potential there. If he shows up as Human Torch, that's brilliant. That's a ton of fun. If they do some wacky other alternate version using Chris Evans, I can be on board with that because it's the setup of multiverse creates a scenario where it makes sense to do something wacky, bring him back for something like that. If they're bringing him back to have old man Steve sit down with Bucky and have a chat with him and mentor him for a nice, fun little scene. The way Peggy showed up in, you know, what was a Winter Soldier for just a little bit. That's cool. That's fun. That That's a little nice little touch. If they're trying to bring him back to do a new story with him returning the stones, I just think that's a terrible idea. If there's an interesting story there. I totally understand. There's an interesting story about Steve returning the stones. But it's looking backwards instead of forwards. And right, it communicates right. they aren't confident in their future. They have all these other characters, all these other stories that are interesting, also interesting. And instead of looking forward, they're going, man, I don't know if people are going to buy tickets for this. I don't know if they're going to watch this. We better bring Chris Evans back to tell a story about him returning stones that, while interesting, is inconsequential. Interesting yeah. that it's a so if it's for what if if it's a little scene of him as old man Steve it's a, if it's him in a multiverse as Human Torch I think that's fun if this is to do a mini series with him if this is to do Captain America four I am absolutely a no yeah you, you I mean like you wrapped up his his character exactly arc exactly so perfectly I mean arguably I mean like Iron Man's was really well done and that one was a really emotional gut punch for sure but if, if you had to ask me like which character out of the entire MCU had the best send off it'd be Steve Rogers you you can't beat that that ending shot of him and Peggy just getting that slow dance together I mean that's I'm getting chills just talking about it because it's 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 one of the greatest moments out of the entire yeah. Uh, cinematic universe. And so if you're going to undo in, that to in, bring him actually, back. As a point of reference to my wife, who I use as the common man when it, or the every person when it comes to the MCU, her big issue with the original Captain America is she was so mad that they never got that dance. Like she was like, oh man, I like this movie. I really love their relationship, but he never was able to dance with her. Mm -hmm. And so I saw Endgame before her because the press screening. And so we went you know, opening night packed crowd. And I'm just sitting there like watching her like this as it goes to that final little sequence and just watching to see. Uh, and she's like, yeah, they, they did it. They got the dance. It was such a good send off. It closed it out. Yeah. It made sense. Um, uh, totally on board with what they did. And the idea that they're like, all right, but what if we told another story? But why? <laughs> No. Um, and like even even old man Steve, I don't know how much I would really want to see of him um, just because I, I don't know. Like it just his his arc ended like I, I don't know. Like I saw something that was like maybe he comes back in Black Panther 2 because they're going to try and bring back all the Avengers in Black Panther 2 for like some sort of send off for, I don't know, T'Challa or whatever. I, I saw like a tweet about that and I was like okay fine maybe I can get right. behind that because that's a really emotional moment and it's like more than just the cinematic universe but um I don't know man like I don't want to see like the, the, him returning the stones I don't, I don't even think that's like something that's even within the realm of possibility like that that just seems like such a shallow idea uh for the MCU going forward and, and ultimately who cares like who cares um so it's like a it's a fun short like it's it, a yeah it's a, it, like it, everyone goes oh man what, what is it like when he returns the stone to red skull that feels like a mystery that the intrigue of the the, the mystery is a lot more interesting than the actual scene itself 
because yeah. what are they get, what are they going to do? Like Red Skull have a philosophical debate about <laughs> what Red Skull has learned now that he's become an immortal in a celestial realm. Not a great plan. Like what what are they what what are they actually going to talk about that feels like a satisfying conversation for Steve Rogers? Yeah. Like do they think he's going to like start throwing the shield at him or like no? So the 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 intrigue of like oh he's going to have to return it to Red Skull. That's a fun observation. Yeah. I don't know that the scene itself would actually be fun. No, it, it, I don't even, I don't, it, yeah, I don't think that would be interesting at all. I mean, like him returning the stones, whatever. He's Captain America. He can sleuth around and he'll put them back and everything will be fine. Like it doesn't matter. There are some things that you don't need to see on screen. You can just leave it up to your imagination. And I think with with Steve, it just like what what more is there to do with this character? If you're going to bring him back, there has to be. And I can't tell you uh, like a single reason why he should come back. Like mentoring Falcon and Winter Soldier, like it's not necessary. They've moved right. past the need for him to be a mentor. Right. With him giving the shield to Sam and being like this is your thing. Now you take over. You're in the position where it's, it's your time. Be Captain America. Yeah. And the whole concept is, is that up to this point, they've been in his shadow. The whole point is they're moving on. So like, yeah. I, you know, I wouldn't, you know, if there was like a scene, like, and I, and I don't mean like a scene, I, I don't mean like there's a whole subplot about how they're being trained by Steve. That's a terrible idea. He's in the universe still. So the concept that there could be a conversation fair enough. Maybe I'm open to it. Uh, I don't hate that. I, I'm not for it either. I'm not promoting it. Yeah. The Human Torch one is the one that I think is the one that's like that would be a lot of fun. If like they, like like the multiverse multi, or like multiverse Deadpool three or yeah mm-hmm. yeah they, they're doing a multiverse and so then he's playing Human Torch that he played 15 years ago. That's fun. That is fun. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's there's a there's a that it's not super clever but it's a little clever and it's a nice little touch for the fans. Yeah. But I, I him returning as Captain America. I think is a big no God, please. No, no. Here's the other thing is like, what if they do it? They, 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 but there's like a, some sort of story that's set like in the, the past or something like that. Like after he's come out of the ice and after the Jersey thing, like that, um, and it requires him to be there. I don't know. Do you think that that, I, 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 to me, I'm like, just right around it. He doesn't need to be there. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it would be, necessary yeah. for him depending on the story so yeah i mean like i like if there's something that you know that they've introduced time travel they're they're telling a story you know black widow's a prequel so there's some stuff that could happen I, okay if he just if he does that but what i just don't want is we we can't let go of captain america that's what i think they just we can't let it go of uh tony stark and you know, it's where people are immediately like oh because doolittle didn't do well do you think he's going to return and play iron man again well, I sure hope not. That's not a good reason to bring the character back. Do little yeah. doing poorly has nothing to do with whether his character should continue. And if five years from now they play out a couple stories and there's an interesting way to do some sort of event return five years from now. Sure. Maybe that's interesting. Right, but right, right now, right now, like we're we're two episodes into phase four and it drops. Hey, Chris Evans is coming back. It, like it feels like they just don't have confidence when you hear it like that. It just feels like yeah, we don't, yeah, we yeah, don't trust. Exactly. Like it just feels like that, and so I, I almost feel like they should have said like, "Hey guys, you know this is this is a like a cameo. He's not." <laughs> I almost well, feel they like they should yeah, they should have been open about. Well, I mean, and to be fair, Chris Evans did tweet out and he was like, "I know nothing about this." Yeah. And now, granted, like yeah, of course he's going to say say that. Yeah. About. But I actually genuinely think that he was being serious, and he's like, oh, "This is news to me. I don't know what you're talking about." Um, so who knows, but I, and I think there's always a side to it of if the, the plan for the future feels like something that any one of us could come up with, that's probably not a good plan for the future. No, no. <laughs> like, that's yeah. The, I mean, the MCU is like thrived on like not being able to predict what's next. Yeah. Like Kevin Feige really just you know, knowing the insides and out of this universe and the characters and just being able to tell a story that is way better than any fan fiction, you know? Yeah. And like, I've heard a ton of these different theories of um, ways he could come back. And if I don't think Kevin Feige would do that, 
Doesn't seem like Chris Evans wants to do that. He, he's no. he's game. Like he's not burn br- burning bridges, but there's just no reason that to think that Kevin Feige would be looking to the past, not the future. Yeah, especially agree. when he's kick like taking his bold of a risk of kicking off with a sitcom. Yeah, and then immediately to be like, but also I'm afraid of the future. So let's get Chris Evans back for Captain America Four. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. That doesn't feel right. 